Hey everyone, it's Astra here from Team Less. Hey guys, it's Vanessa. Hi, I'm Das. Hello everyone, I'm Carol from the customer service team of Less Brands. Um, my name is Charlotte. Storm here from Team Less, and as you can see, I have made myself presentable for the first time in three weeks. So last week we asked you on IG and Facebook stories if you had any questions about your curls. This week, we're getting the ladies from Team Less to answer your questions directly. Let's check it out. Excuse me for being super weird. I'm camera shy. Okay, I have wavy hair. How do I keep the hold? It's always great the first day, uh, but I can't get more days out of it. First of all, that is extremely relatable. As someone with fine wavy hair, it doesn't seem to matter how many silk pillowcases I buy, I always end up with flat or frizzy hair in the morning. Washing every day is a no-go as well because it really dries out the hair. Personally, I have a lot of success every morning with wetting my hair, either in the sink or in the shower, uh, squeezing it out and then applying one or two pumps of this olive one diluted in water in my spray bottle scrunching and then letting my hair air dry. Another thing you can do is get a haircut with more layers. We have a photo as well with Bren showing her hair and you can see that a cut with layers really help to make your waves bounce. So the application and a haircut could definitely help to make your waves more pronounced. Can you use the all-in-one without doing a wash and go? The answer is absolutely yes you can. So I use the Kiki Coily formula for my wash and go styler, but I also use it as a replacement for any gels or edge controls in my updos. So what I like to do is on probably day four or five hair, I'll take you know a little bit of water, spritz it over my hair, and then take a soft or boar bristle brush and smooth it all out. Then take about one, maybe two pumps of the all-in-one, um, smooth it over my hair, and then again, go in with the brush. After doing all that, you take a scarf, you tie that tightly, lay your edges down, have your breakfast, do your makeup in the meantime, do what you gotta do. And I'd say, you know, after about 30 minutes, you can take it off. I mean, hey, this is if you got time, 30 minutes. Usually about 15 minutes, take it down. Edges are laid, you're looking cute, you're ready to go. Try it out, let us know how it goes. Um, tell us in the comments below, we wanna know. We wanna see those curls too. So tag us in your photos, hello. I often will use the all-in-one when I do twist or I do a braid out and I just find that because it, it's just more than a styler like yes of course it defines your curls and it gives um, a lot of definition in your hair it's also really good for moisturizing and conditioning and just making sure that your hair stays hydrated and soft uh, so I like to incorporate it into my other styles when I either put my hair up in a bun or I just leave it in braids It, it all depends, but it's also really good at um, like for when I do do braid outs And I just kind of want to redefine it with like a different texture It creates a really really interesting pattern that is different from what my natural curl pattern is I use the curly and kinky for formula Mommy. So <laughs> You need three batteries? Yeah. For your toys? Yeah. Okay. I use the curly and the kinky coily formula, but I also know that other people on our team have used um, the wavy to do um, French braids and then also unravel them to reveal this like really beautiful, soft, beachy look. The styling aspect of the of the all-in-one formulas are pretty versatile. Even if you only plan to throw your hair up into a ponytail or a bun, or you don't plan on actually going through and styling and divine, defining it, it is good to add the all-in-one formula just to make sure that you're maintaining moisture and um, conditioning your hair post-wash. What's the difference between the wavy product and the curly product? So I started with wavy and now I'm using curly. I find that wavy formula gives more volume and it gives more natural look it worked really well when i had shorter hair and i had layers back then so it worked perfectly but now that i'm growing my hair out i 
find that wavy formula is not enough to give boost for my really extra thick hair. Like my hair is really really thick and really heavy. The curly formula has the thicker consistency and gives more definition, but I feel like it might be a little too heavy for someone who has fine wavy hair. Again, I have very, very thick hair. So if your hair is fine to medium and you have wavy hair, I will say go with wavy formula. But if you have lots of hair, super thick like mine, I will say give curly a try. Sections of my curls clumped together, how can I keep them separate and defined? So for me, when my curls clump together like this, I like to take a little bit of water. I'll use my plus spray bottle. Put my hands just a little bit. Kind of smooth over the area that I'm separating. You can also use a little bit of your all-in-one. I'll take a tiny little bit, like, I mean, super tiny little bit. Kind of rub my hands together. Smooth over the area that I'm separating. And then I'll just gently find the area where they meet. And gently pull them apart. Now you don't have to, you can leave them plump together. I pull them apart because it does give a little bit more volume. How many times a week should I be washing my hair? And the truth is there is no hard or fast rules on when you should wash your hair. At the end of the day, you need to do what's right for your hair type. And when I say hair type, that doesn't just mean if you have wavy, curly, or kinky, coily hair. I mean um, more so about like fine hair or thick hair or whether or not you produce a lot of oil or if you don't. So for example, I struggle with oil production. My scalp is often dry sometimes, so I try not to wash it too often. Someone who has really fine hair or also produces a lot of natural oils may find that their roots get really heavy with oil. Um, that may make you want to wash um, every two days or every three days and that might just be what's right for your hair. So at the end of the day, it's just important to do what works for you. How do I even figure out my curl type? This is definitely a question we get asked often and it's a good one. One way that you can do it is by pulling out a strand and googling curl type chart and just comparing the actual strands to the different images that you see. You'll find that you may be in between two or you might even have three different curl types on your head and that's completely normal. I for myself am a 3C mainly, but I do have some 4A in the back um, and that's completely normal. Don't be too strict about my curl type is this and I have to stick to that and only things that people tell me are good for this hair type. There's so many other things to um, what makes your hair unique and a curl type isn't the only thing that defines that. When is the best time to use the oil or how to use it? So the Luz Alexa oil is such a fun product. You can literally, literally use it from head to toe. Head to toe. I'm not joking. You can use it on your scalp, on your hair, on your skin. Your nails, your hands, your body after a shower. That's my favorite. Personally, I use it more on my face. It's part of my skincare morning routine. I just apply some of the Luz Alexa oil on my face with some eye cream and that's it. So for skin, I'll say use this as a last step of your skincare routine. Oil locks in moisture, which means that it seals everything you just put onto your skin so that your skin can stay hydrated even longer. Um, you can also use it to separate your curls or just to kind of seal your ends a little bit. I know for me, my hair gets really dry at the end. So I usually sleep with my hair down anyways overnight. And usually the ends are kind of a little rough. So I'll add a little bit of my less elixir oil, just a couple of little drops here. Then rub my hands together and then I will grab just the ends and kind of smooth them a little bit. But of course you always want to make sure you follow the curl pattern. You don't want to break up that curl pattern. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let us know if you want to see anything else in the future in the comment section down below. Nice talking to you. All right guys, talk soon. Bye. Bye guys. And see you next time.
You can use it in your hair. Do like a scalp treatment. I like to massage my face. Ooh, OD. Stay safe. Be happy. Eat well. We'll see you next time.